Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com, and today we're going to do kind of a short little series of videos on the Soulsby Ossetron. Now, the reason why I'm doing this in kind of shorter little bites about the Ossetron is because, honestly, it just does too much to try to put it all into one video, and trying to memorize all that stuff might break your brain. This thing is a 8-bit oscillator and what's really cool about this thing is if you're familiar with Soulsby since they make a product called the at Megatron this is basically an at Megatron that's been put into the Eurorack form and along with that you get lots of cool features first thing to notice about this thing is that you have these wood end cheeks on here you don't see very many Eurorack modules that have wood end cheeks there's a reason for this though what you can do is you can actually take off the wood ends here and as updates come out for the Ossetron, you can actually put new templates on top of this module that will completely change the faceplate without having to buy a whole new faceplate. So you just basically slap on a new um, like laminated template on there, put the wood end cheeks on there so it holds it in place nicely, and you'll have all new features on there, and you won't have to worry about trying to memorize, oh, well, what did this change to? You'll notice that the two brightly colored knobs here I have one of them flashing right now that's because it's getting an audio input now you might be thinking well why does the oscillator need an audio input that's because this thing is so much more than just an oscillator it also does vocoding you can actually record wavetables into this thing uh, so it does a whole host of different things it also has built-in filtering um, it's got your filter and resonance controls it also has a built-in phaser and it has clock output on this thing it's so much more than just an oscillator that I didn't want to really limit this thing to just doing one video that tried to encompass everything because I really just don't think I'd get through it all what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna show you uh, how this thing sounds when you run a drum loop into it and the reason why is just because the um, the vocoder aspect of this thing is just so unique I thought it'd be an interesting thing to show off so the first thing I'm going to do here is I do have an audio input coming into the bottom and the output. We're going through an anamodule uh, double D VCA, which is just a really clean VCA. So there's not going to be any coloring to the signal there. And I'm going to send uh, the Mixman offset into the volt per octave input on here so that I can adjust the pitch of the vocoder up and down manually. Now let's go ahead and, and get some sound here. Right now, I'm just running some very basic, uh, you know, old school drum breaks. And as we increase the pitch, you can actually freeze it and you can really kind of play with your sound pretty, pretty intensely. Now for perspective, I'll show you how this thing sounds just by itself. Let's go ahead and take this out. We'll mute that and I'll send you. So here are the drum brakes. And let's go back into here. Now this is in continuous mode. You can also use this mode. Now I've just frozen a section of that drum loop and I can pitch it up and down. So it basically turns that audio capture into a wavetable. And then you can scroll through it with the pulse width. Of course, you can use your filtering. And the resonance on this is pretty wild. Now, something to note about this is you don't have just one filter on this module. You actually have a whole range of filters inside of this thing. On top of that, you also have uh, the ability to normalize inside the module. Now, this thing is an 8-bit oscillator, so by definition, it's kind of lo-fi, but 
it's lo-fi in all the right ways now check this out i'm going to give this thing we're in a low pass filter mode i'm going to give it resonance then i'm going to sweep it and you'll notice right here i'm clipping pretty heavy right so the resonance is clipping but what i can do is if i press this button it'll normalize it so now it's not clipping anymore and i can get gritty and lo-fi with this thing. The reason why you don't always want it normalized is because when you go full open, you get a little bit more noise that way. So we can take that back out. So, something interesting about this module is you'll notice that the top knob has two different ring colors around it. You've got the red ring and you've got the green ring. The green ring, you basically just press the button to get to. Yeah, you can depress this knob. And the outside ring will let you change things around. So, check this out. This is, this is some really crazy stuff. I'm going to take the input out of here. All right. And let's go ahead and listen to what we have right now. Go ahead. We're going to go to a simple square wave here. Let's bring this level down a bit. So we have a simple square wave here. We have pulse width. And if you notice, the pulse width on this is not your traditional pulse width. We can get to that in, in a later video. There's some pretty interesting tricks that you can do with the pulse width. But let's take a look at the resolution because, as I said, this is a lo fi module. Now, right now, when we move to the res resolution area right here, that's that sine wave that looks like it's broken up into segments, we can actually step the bit rate down. Now, as you can see, we're in a square wave, so you're not going to see massive changes, but you do notice changes. And the reason is, is because this thing has just a ton of character in it. The noise, um, the harmonics of the filter, everything is kind of taken into account. So you get to see this weird kind of blockiness on that, on that level right there. And when I sweep the filter, you really start to notice the change. Now let's go back up in resolution a bit. wild back down and then when we raise the resonance and then we'll go back up and keep in mind this is all based off of just a square wave so let's go back down here now when let's bring this back down here this again so when we're in this bottom one here you can see we have bank and then we have a sine wave here you can actually scroll through your different waveforms and if you look at the outside of the green knob here on the on the lower side those are actually all different filter characteristics but they also have numbers on them and those numbers care uh, are the different waveforms that are inside the module so let's check that out now with does on this. So you get these really cool variable shape waveforms. And this is all modulatable. Now, in addition to the Ossitron, you also get this module next to it called the Uni5. And what the Uni5 does is it allows you to take 
bipolar waveforms that are coming into it and make them unipolar so that they work better with the Ossetron. So if you have a bipolar LFO, like let's say uh, the Mankato filter, um, we can send it into, I'm going to do that right now, into one of the inputs here. And we're going to come out of the output right straight into our pulse width. And you get these really cool waveforms. So let's step through some of these uh, waveforms while we're manipulating that pulse width. And again, this gets really crazy when you start messing with the resolution as well. speed this up just so you get an idea of how unique this pulse width sounds. And you have little attenuators at the bottom of the Uni 5 here. So I can kind of dial in exactly how much I want. Drop the resolution. You get these cool kind of uh, vocoder like actions. Vocal type filtering. So this thing is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to this filter or this oscillator filter and uh, effects box basically. This thing can do so much and I just wanted to touch on just a little bit of it. In the next videos, we're going to get into even more on this thing. We'll get into the quantizing, you know, we can get into the different filter types. There's just a ton of features on this thing. So again, this is the Soulsby Ossetron. This is Flux of FluxWithIt.com. Peace.